Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Underground Albums where we discuss upcoming artists' body of work. Hope everyone's doing well. So I've been gone for a little bit, missed y'all. I've uh, been busy with uh, school, all that fun jazz. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit off. Uh, by the time of this recording, it's the day after a, a marching band football, uh, a football game where marching band had to go. And I uh, lost my voice a little bit. We're still here though. We're still here to get the work done. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today's episode of Underground Albums is none other than Notori's uh, debut record with call, that is titled Ghost Town. This was a track, this was a thing I was looking forward to for a while. I had known about the construction of this album for a, a, quite a little bit. And it's been out for a little bit. Uh, only on YouTube right now, I believe he's working out the kinks to get it out on all platforms. And uh, Notori, for those who don't know, is a... Uh, actually, the first ever rapper I, I believe I inter I reviewed on my Artist of the Day series. I've heard a lot of him. I've heard uh, with his with his slick track. I believe Ghost Slash Immortal, Immortal Go yeah Ghost Slash Immortal, which I really did enjoy. Also, his collaborative record uh, with um, AJ the artist titled Painting Pictures, a record that I really showcased his. From when I started reviewing him to even now, he's continuously gotten better. Um, one of the better voices of the group of Kids Next Door. From slick cadences to good inflection, mature voices to mature voice control to even great production and slick bars that he's uh, come from time to time. He's really been one of my favorites to even listen to just in general. And now we have a full record that is 22 tracks long, which... I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. But a lot of these songs are pretty short. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. He's always had this heavy Kanye-esque Tyler the Creator influence. Um, which is not a bad thing at all. And I, and I always did enjoy everything I heard from him. So we'll see. We have a whole album full of stuff. You know, Tyler Ghost Town. He's been teasing this thing for God knows how long. He's How long? If you want to listen to the album in its entirety, I will leave a link to... It um, from YouTube in the description below, as well as his Instagram. Go give him a follow. Go support. No shades, cause I need, I need, I need clear vision to see Notori's vision. Right before we do that, everybody, please go click the links down below to my music, as well as we finally have merch out for the balanced ones for my company, the Balance. Uh, senior shirts for the class of 2023. Please go check that out. Please and thank you. Video on that will be coming later uh, where I'll get to show y'all the full website. With that being said, the first track we will listen to is called Full Moon Intro. See, this is already Call Me If You Get Lost vibes from Tyler. I said it. The, the beats are going to be great. Ayo. I, bro, man, get DJ Drama on this, man. Call me if you get lost, suckers. He definitely, he Googled Tyler the Creator type beats. There's no way. There's no way. I don't like to talk. I don't do the conversation. You can take this album as my only dissertation. Face it. A full moon wolf is awakened. God. Ah. was born in the arms of a woman. Been abused, but she's strong. She was alone, down and out, feeling lost on the road. Then my heart started beating. Not a bad. I'm not gonna hold you. That's not a bad intro at all. Uh, a little bit on the shorter end, but um, very slick. Uh, I like the instrumental sample that he chose. Um, produced by Pilot Kid, by the way. Um, I think it was uh, it, it was dramatic. It, 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 like I said, the the real blend between the Kanye and the Tyler Creator showed through on that one because you had the Tyler Creator kind of flute again the hat on that "Call Me You Get Lost" type of beat and then you have the drums that sound very kanye-esque so and he has a with a very old school flow really get it's like a breath of fresh air to have hear that kind of like a laid back type feel to it um definitely definitely not a bad intro at all really did enjoy that i think i would definitely want it longer just because i feel like that could be expanded upon something really really good next track is a song i've already heard uh it's the um but i listen to it again anyways uh because i want to hear it in context and sequence uh notori x sky carter with ghost slash immortal hey hey hey, hey. i said you go in ghost 
All up, all up. We said we go where hey. what? Hey. Oh my God. Go it goes. And then you put the beat. Why are you doing this, Sky? Why are you doing? This? He puts the beat in reverse and raps over it too. Oh my god, that was so slick. We off the grid. What you know about your heart? Oh my god. I enjoy that song so much. That song is great. That is beautiful. Love it. Production is cool. He then flipped the beat in reverse and rapped over it both ways. Comfortable, slick. Rhymes, Sky sounds great. Overall, awesome song. But I knew I liked that song. I've heard it before, so it's it's great. It's just fantastic. Next track we'll listen to is called Pretend Interlude. Very lo-fi. Oh my god. This is the drums I needed. Bro, the Tyler influence is crazy. This is so smooth, man. Oh my god. What? That's gotta be longer. I'm sorry. That has to be longer. That is fantastic. Oh my god. This flows is so slick. He sounds, he's mixed well. It's just a great song. That is too short. That is only a minute and 39. And he only rapped for a minute 20. That needs to be longer. Make that song longer. And that is perfection. Next track we'll listen to is called Ghost Town. Bruh, they said it. Nah, don't you you'll get mad. We said it. I said it. Man, this give me so much toilet credit, man. Get the f nah nah nah. This is heavy, Tyler. <laughs> what? Murder in every track. Can't help it, I'm addicted. Just like a white boy who can't help saying Nick. What? Oh, you never feed for redemption is crazy. Okay. Song was cool. Um, it felt the most awkward so far. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like certain lines are clipped together. It sounds like he was like ever so slightly rushing certain flows from time to time. Most of the time he's on beat though. Um, I like what he's talking about. Uh, some slick lines talking about um, they're addicted to girls and stuff, but they're not addicted to redemption. I think that's very cool. Production is solid, mixed well. Overall, again, not a bad song, but I definitely see that's where it started to get uneasy. Um, I will say, four songs then, and like I said, obviously he makes he makes the the point, the, the joke in there. It's like. I love you so much, you remind me of Tyler the Creator. There is heavy Kanye Tyler the Creator influence. Well, we're not five, we're eight songs in. I don't know why I said five. I'm an idiot. I think. No, we're five. I can't count. What is wrong with me? But uh, I, I do hear that. And I, it does concern me that if this album is just going to be another... No, I don't want to call him a Tyler the Creator wannabe. but Because um, he's not. Because there is an element of his voice that I do find in, in a way original. But I just worry that this will sound like a B Tech Tyler the Creator. Granted, he sounds great. I just I I really do hope he does he is able to showcase what makes Notori to Notori. I like the because conceptually he's got it, and you know what I'm saying his voice I can kind of hear, you know, you know his his own type of style. But the way he you know pitches things down, which I love the creativity, I love the interludes. Um, the way he pitches his voices up with the layers of stuff in certain ways. I hear very, you know, Kanye, Tyler, and even a little bit of Kendrick Lamar, especially with the layered rapping. But again, if you're coming out the gate something like that, you're definitely doing something, right? Next song we'll listen to is called 
day trip. Dude, bro, what? Don't even think I'm sober. I wish this shit was over. Witness the feeling of death. Went from my lungs to my chest. I get in the first place. Now I'm questioning if I'm gonna reach my 17th birthday. Hit the man. Oh, wait, what? Hitting the elemental drugs and now it's making my earthquake. Oh my god. See tomorrow, I might leave for this day trip. If I take this, Jesus. I'm so dangerous. Yeah. Bro, Sir Baudelaire is here. Bro, his taste in beats are so good. Every instrumental is so tight. It's so good. Oh my good. They're so cinematic and, you know, atmospheric. You know, really set the tone for each one of what he's talking about. Um, again, some of the best songs here are just too short. Like, that needs to be longer. Maybe getting a feature on that. I'm just saying your boy can rap. That's hard, though. That one line is crazy. It's just too short to develop it in anything. That's really it. Like, like for a time it there, it's great. It just needs to be longer. The same thing with a lot of these songs, though. Talking about, you know, fear of not gonna being able to make it to your 17th birthday based on your environment. Um, taking ed elemental drugs so much that it made your earthquake is fucking nuts. I like that one a lot. So far, man, he, he's yet to really, really miss on this. This is good. This is good. Next song we'll listen to is called Deep End. He's trying to throw, he's trying to make the old heads go crazy. This is such a groove, bro, man. He's got it, bro. This is great. I'm loving this. This is fantastic. Um, I think it actually is fitting for how short that is. I'm actually not mad at the length for this one. I think it's perfect. Uh, I love the contrast of the beat. It's very lo-fi, aquatic, and chill, uh, while his inflection and his cadence is very strong and intense. Um, but it blends together really well in my eyes. I love how the more intense the topic gets, the more hungry he gets, the more he's like, you know, basically, fuck you. I'm gonna do what I want to do. I'm gonna do things for me, my way. Talking about how I'm saying nothing will suffer in silence. You know, the bars about that. People not liking him, handling his addiction, growing up in this world. Um, there's definitely a lot of things that are relatable as well as just conveyed really, really well. Really, really, really happy with that song for sure. The next song we'll listen to. I might have heard this before. Uh, is Define the Laws, featuring Notori and Dice. Travis? Song is featuring Dice. Yeah, no, no, no I said that. Notori and Dice. Oh my! <laughs> no! Can we just take a moment to appreciate the beat choice? Nah, he might eat. Please don't fold this. Please don't fold this, because this, what is this? What is this? That needs to hit harder though. Oh my god. With all my bitches, really trying to make sense of this rope from the rest of bitches. Bitches make me sick of the niggas that make oh! me. Oh! Nah, nah, nah. He's about to He's about to take me to the moon. No Kanye West. I'm gonna have to dip like that nigga passing the chips. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I remember this song now. Oh no. I'm gonna have to dip like a nigga passing the chips. No, nah, nah, you got it. You got it. Boy, what? Ain't no way. Triple double on my bitch. You get badges from all this. Talk that 2K talk. Come on, talk that talk, dice. Talk. For me and I. Boy, dice is flow. This man is. He is going to. He he is ghost house. If y'all don't put this on Spotify right now, that song is amazing. That's my favorite so far. Define the laws. I forgot about it, but that shit was great. I forgot 
what it was, but that is fantastic. That shit was great. Flo Notori flowed so well, killed it. Inflections were great. Dice, phenomenal. I'm gonna have to dip like a nigga passing the chips. Triple double on the bitch. Like, she'll get bad just from all this shit. Like, bro. Me, it's I4 and I whack the fuck. Like, wait, what? These men is really rapping right now. They're really rapping right now. I can't do this. They really, they are really rapping right now. I can't, I can't do this. They are, they're really just, like, like, who am I? Like, that's, that's fantastic. That song is great. Next track is called Never Ending. Y'all not about to do this, man. I'm about to tear down this wall, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's my guy. I feel that. That shit is beautiful. That's beautiful. I like that. It's short and sweet. I like that. It's beautiful. Can't really say too much on that besides the same thing I already said. Again, I hear a lot more of the Tyler Creator influence in that one, but... I like that. Very low key, set the tone very well. Next track is an interlude called Control of Me. What is wrong with him? I like that. So the ghost is taking control of him. Okay. Not mad at that in the slightest. I'm, I can be, I can, I can fuck with that. I've been listening for about half an hour. We're only on track ten, and there's like, bro, he trying to kill me for real. I do like how he matches, or he either matches the energy really well with the instrumental, or goes. It does such a complete opposite, and yet still, st still blends really well. It shows his maturity and understanding of detail. Uh, probably more, the most detail I've seen versus uh, AJ the artist. And this is not really a diss. It's more of the fact that like I see the his very meticulousness into everything he's doing the production all that stuff it's the most mature i i've heard uh out of the group at least next track is called eternals uh this is notori and sky carter this might get nasty they the proof they make them bro this reminds me of famous by bro. don't do this to me man what the hell? What? I like this. What are these switch ups? Oh, my goodness. Song was too short, and he and Notori never came back. Uh, meaning, I like how first of all, I like first of all, can we talk about how creative this is? I like it. Um, it starts off a slow kind of rap ish, and then it turns to kind of this like a, a beat tempo with Sky Carter flowing well, and it sounds great. Then this you have this instrumental switch that no one raps over; it just rides out. It's like a half whole minute outro, which the instrumental is great, but I would have loved to hear more rapping. Uh, from the Tory to make it sound like a complete song. It almost seems like it's half done. Also, the mixing is super loud. Like, like it's loud as fuck. Like, it, like it kind of drowns out the instrumental from time to time. But it's a lot. And it's so, it's loud. But there are times where it's also fine. So, like I said, this one has, a, I, like, I love the potential of it. I can still listen to it. It's still, it's not a bad song by any means. But it does seem like it wasn't finished. Next song is titled Fantasies. Brent Fias at no play. All these fantasies, them is cold and it's getting hard to breathe. Mm. If mm. we take this back in time, oh wow. You've been fighting demons, I've been fighting demons, so we can see. Oh man. Again, it's too short. What, like, what are they doing? Look, like, Matori, real talk, bro. You're having a lot of great ideas and a lot of fantastic moments, but you're not finishing them. Like you're not finishing them. Like they're like there's like like you'll have a great intro, a great outro, but there's like no middle. Like bro, you like you gave me the greatest piece of bread, right? You gave me the greatest pieces of bread, 
and you didn't put anything in between them. Where's the sandwich? Where, you're supposed to be making a sandwich here. Where's the sandwich? Because there's a lot of these things are like really, 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 I like a lot. Like there's not a song here that I would be like, I don't like this. This is a bad song. They're just most of them, some of them are just not done. Like... Uh, like the most complete song is Ghost and Immortal, which is like two songs apparently. Uh, a pretend interlude could have been longer. Ghost Town was good, that was fine. Day Trip, I think, was one of the ones I was okay with. That one could have been a little bit longer. Deep End was actually satisfied with that. Define the Laws was fantastic. Never Ending was, you know, a good, but again, too short. Control of Me was an interlude, so I can just understand that being shorter on the shorter side, but still, I feel like if you could wanted to make that a whole song, you could uh eternals like just was undone so, and then fantasies is like another great thing like you're stumbling on great things just not finishing them you gotta finish them when you finish them i promise to god you'll get the hits you want i promise you i promise you i don't know i just think i, I think i think you give you give them you give the right time to these tracks and you make them fully fleshed out oh my god this could be like the best album so far and there's like still like 11 we're only halfway through there's still 11 more songs we gotta listen to next track is called fantasy slash maybe what did he split it in two different you're so loud what Okay. What? Everything I said earlier on God, I don't mean it. On God, I ain't mean it. I like to apologize. No. On God, I ain't mean it. On God, I ain't mean it, bro. You make a 10 second song, it sound great. On God, I'll shut the hell up, bro. On God, that sound great. He's not coming back. Is this the second half to the first one? Just make it one song. Why did he need to be split in two? That could have been a full a full song. Like, that should have been one. I don't understand why that was split in two. It was cool. Liked it. Again, the fact that it's split in two makes it sound unfinished. It sounds like fantastic, beautiful clips, almost, rather than are just actual song. Also, I will say his topic choice is getting a bit repetitive because the same lines are being said. Like, how many times has he, has he made a line about going ghost? And I get, yes, ghost town. Like, the th yeah, I fucking get it. But it's the same type of thing about the same type of drugs and the same. So, I mean, like, I don't know. There's not really... Like, the longer this is going, the less variation you're seeing. I like his his, his thoughts on, on romance and stuff. The heartbreak, trying to move forward with that. That's actually, you know, one of the more, uh, like, varying ways he's talking about stuff. Not bad. Not bad at all. Next track is Move On Interlude. What in the Hotel Transylvania? A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. Trust me, I don't hold against you, girl. I should have met you halfway through the middle. Want to kiss you through the phone, but you got me blocked. Talking through your best friend, shit got... I didn't like that. Didn't like the inter interlude. It seemed very unnecessary. Um, it... it I'll say this about the last track too. There's a part of it also. He looks like he's still searching. He's searching for a place for a flow. You can tell he like he's saying lines, but he's like, "Uh, where's the flow that matches? Where's the flow that matches?" He was ever so slightly off of the guitar. Uh, it just seemed unnecessary. It seemed like you could have really took that out and didn't really need it. Um, like like like, like it wasn't it wasn't horrible, but. I don't think I think it was the first dud I've seen, but it is interlude, so I don't know. It just seemed very unnecessary. Next uh, track is Troublesome Freestyle. Oh my god. What? This is even really lazy. Like this is getting real. This is getting ridiculous. I might go hold you. This is getting ridiculous. I'm not even gonna say nothing about it because we know what the hell I'm about to say. That needs to be in it longer because he was flowing. Next track is sauna freestyle. Let's see if this is actually longer. I'm not mad at these drums. I'm not mad at them. I hate to use the poke. Wait, 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 
will hate to use the poker face, so I speak the truth. Oh my god. I'm Lucius when I lose shit. I'm Lucius when I lose shit. Oh my god. Ain't no way he just pull out the bar from Empire. Ooh. It was longer. That's not more complete. Not mad at that. Um, I think I think I can't really say much more because we are getting towards the point where it's like if I say anything else, it's gonna fall into what I like about all the other songs. So another track I really did enjoy. Next track is called Friends. Reminiscing over the days of frequently candy pain was instantly led to days of mentally. These beats are like, fantastic. These are so tightly well done, man. Wow! They ain't fiends, they just need someone to hand them the rope before they find it themselves and them trying to. What? Should have been longer. That's all I gotta say about that. It's 48 seconds. Because that was some deep stuff that I feel like they expanded upon that. That could have actually been uh, one of the best songs on here. But uh, we got 48 seconds, and that should probably be a lot longer. So, yeah. Next track is a freestyle called Losing Friends. Ayo. Hey, Sir Baudelaire. Oh, let me tee up real quick. Tee yeah, up. Yeah, yeah tee up, boy. Hey. Tee up, okay, bro. Super califragilistic, espialidocious. Yeah. Talk us off the pills and potions. Yeah, yeah. See no overdose. Yeah. Guess that's just emotion. Yeah. Tell them that it's cool, but it's just fuck with my emotions. Again, this chopped up in half, but I do like that. Uh, he was playing around the first half, and the second half, he actually came to rap, and he rapped well. Um, really did enjoy that. We'll love the other half of the song, but you know, that's just me. Next song is titled Good Morning World. You, stay, you, lay, Midwest cruise, niggas continue voting on you know what? I'll say this right now before we even continue. Shout out to 18, man. This is the producer for majority of these beats. Shout out to him, because that boy is. <laughs> he is. They are different. Been greens, man, it's a collapse whenever you want to see. Oh my god. That guitar is tough. Stop playing. Man, extend that put me on this. Bump it. If you won't rap the rest of the song, I will. What is he talking about? Instrument. So his beat choice is phenomenal. 18 is killing these instrumentals. I will say that. 18 is demolishing every single track. It is, there's always... There's, I'll say, even for the ones that are short, I will say there's every single song I've heard. And it's just very hard to do with this being 22. We're on track 19. Um, and there's always an element of each song that is really, really enjoyable to listen to. Whether it be the production by uh, by Stoic, by 18, um, by Arcane, by or uh, No Solez, or let it be Notori and his flows, or whoever features. They've all made great pieces of music. Now, do some of them need to be longer? Absolutely, but they're still great. The next song, whew. The next song we'll listen to is Killing Them Softly With This Song Slash Distance, uh, featuring Nadia and Brickell. He got this old school feel of him, man. Oh yeah. Brianna? Oh, no. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. This is what the people needed. Well, why do they sound like angels? Why do they sound like angels? This boy 18 is different. Nah, boy, this person, I don't know who they are. They killing this shit. Different when we started off, but still ain't got me a bitch sponsored by Audemars. Yeah. Mm. 2017, fulfilling my destiny. I'm guessing for better days. My shawty won't wear the reins. When we was young, I could. I used to feel the love and I just feel the distance. Ugh. Tough. I definitely like the first half better. I feel like you could expand it off of, uh, Killing themselves with this song more 
and made its own. Th I feel like this is the one you could actually expand it on each of them and made them to their own songs. But the transition was smooth. Oh, excuse me. The transition was smooth. Uh, distance was uh, a much harder cut in terms of killing them softly. Nadia and Brakel blended and sounded beautiful. All three of them synchronized to hit pitches very well. Uh, Interlude was fantastic. That was definitely one of the better songs on this on this track list. Next track we'll listen to is uh, Storming featuring AJ the Artist and the Tory. We're getting painting pictures on this album. I'm here for it. Alcohol, weed, and other drugs Sounds like a lot of fun to some Guess I'm the only one And everybody's voting Walking around It sounds like it was like, like a wolf or uh, a goblin era, age, Tyler play home, But home is where the hatred is I just might leave home alone Macaulay Cook and the drugs that took over That bitch sink, I live my life on repeat Junk gals and junk sex, edibles be a sweet treat <laughs> That's enormous. Cam Cam cameras Cam all around me. Every day is a performance. We are working while you snoring. Get up early in the morning. Waking, making bitches quaking. Cast the weather, think it's storming. <laughs> okay, not mad at that. Um, AJ definitely dominated that track. Uh, his voice is definitely a refresher. Um, he sounded good. Sounded more. Of it's probably sounded the most convincing he sounded off of even all, better than off his own record. Um, definitely enjoyed that a lot. Notori sounded well good too. They kind of mixed at different uh, levels. Like Notori's, I don't know what to do with like the Notori's voice maybe a little bit deeper um, in terms of when he's rapping, but uh, it's um, it, it, he's mixed a lot. Lot he sounds he sounds a lot louder than AJ does. Still cool, kind of a slower, more talking. Definitely one of the ones that are seen but that could be seen as a little bit boring. One of the few I probably wouldn't go back and listen to, but at the same time, it doesn't sound awful. Next track we will listen to twenty one of twenty two is called Episode Fifty Two Freestyle. Blinded by the lights, I cannot see without you Through all these teenage fantasies, making love on the weekend I see the bass every time my heart beat in Okay Throw the misfits and lost bag of bones Told you paying pictures, come to grudges, then I'm dragging those shit Ooh. Screaming, fuck them, fuck y'all, fuck this, fuck LeBron And fuck any nigga over six feet tall, oh God <laughs> Hey bro, I guess if <laughs> Fuck any guy that's over six feet tall. I, I guess I guess fuck me then, cause I'm six foot. <laughs> tough man. Tough, tough. Say fucking with me, I carry a muzzle with me at all times of the day. Cause the wolves coming, nigga, they don't care where you lay. Yeah. I like that. I like that. It's a minute forty eight, but it fits. I like that. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Um, it has that hunger, that passion in his voice that I like to hear. Uh, bars again were biting, flows were, you know, he really cares, really cares about this stuff. I like it. And the final track we will listen to is called Grand Finale featuring Sky Carter Lee's uh, AJ the Artist and Dice, aka the entire Kids Next Door. Let's see if it really is a, indeed a grand finale. It's a four and a half minute song, so it can't be too short. So that's something. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's see what he's talking about. Grand finale. Who produced this? Who produced this? Stoic? Uh oh. Ah, I love God! Fuck. Oh, fuck the one I thought the four play. Wait a minute, no. Don't mind their business. My opposition's been contradicting my contradictions. I'm out to listen. I never found me a pot to piss in. Oh my god. We get it from the fucking soul, nigga. Is that Sky? No, why does she sound amazing? Down, but it's worth it for the crown, like. Yeah, we going go since he's full of me lost. Tired of these games, got nobody I can trust. Is that Lee's or Lee Z? Excuse me. 
sauce, nigga, let's get this shit out the soul. I got hella bitches and hoes, I just switch them up like my clothes. Man, your bitch keep calling my phone, they keep asking me about them songs, they won't leave me the hell alone, so a nigga keep going ghost on them. These niggas bugging Oh, don't God, let me tell us if we heard that this album. Texting on your phone, I'ma leave you alone because you always doing wrong. Never answer my text, you never picking up your phone. I wish you could Ooh. be here, I wish I could make you a clone. <laughs> But I'ma give you three, I'ma give you more that you can never see. I'ma oh yeah. Give you more that you can never be. Tell you that the one with hella problems. Let that shit breathe. Where's Dice at? I need this man Dice to kill it. I need this man. This is good. I need Dice to kill it. Ghost, now we all gotta go. Stop playing. This is getting better. Tay like glitter. Oh my god, bro. Oh, that guitar is sexy. This is great. But you go. No, stop. Stop. That was fantastic. What a beautiful ending to a great body of work. Really enjoyed that. Every member killed it. Uh, Dice was layered. So we didn't get the, the, the one verse I wanted from Dice, but he did layer in well. Uh, Lee, Lee Z or Lee's, whoever the hell. Um, I hadn't really heard him, heard him, him ever. So hearing a new voice is interesting. I like it. Excuse me. Um, his he was kind of mixed the quietest. I will say he was the weakest verse out of all of them, but his verse wasn't bad. Couldn't really hear the last line because it was like mumbly as shit. Uh, Notori obviously killed it. AJ killed it. Uh, he got a little unsteady at certain parts, but he but he then stuck to it and he kept flowing. Liked what he was doing. Sky sounded fucking beautiful as always. The kids next door showing their chemistry, really blending together. The always rising and falling with the instrumental. That guitar, that electric guitar in the end, really sets a good foundation. A really like, really rock star anthem, climactic curtains close ending. Overall, just a great way to end this album. Really, really, really happy with that song. Okay, that was. Notori's album, Ghost Town. How am I feeling about it overall? I really, really, really enjoyed this. There really was, there was like maybe one song out of 22 songs um, that I'll say I wouldn't, I would be fine not listening to again. I could probably listen to this album straight through. It, it's really, really that good. Um, especially the first half was definitely a lot better than the second. It kind of, reached a couple of dry spots for me um, but overall this album showed everything that made me really love Notorious Music really loved uh, all the things that made him great um, I feel, I don't think it needs to be 22 songs I think there's a couple songs here that actually could have been expanded upon you could have taken out um, a couple of these freestyles that really just are unfinished um, and that's the case with a lot of these songs a lot of these songs, you know, as good as there are, as great as I, much as I would listen to them on repeat, they're not finished to me. Which is the part where I just like, it sucks because you really could have finished a lot of these songs and cut this into two separate projects if you wanted to. Um, like, again, we could go down the list. Uh, Full Moon Intro, I like Sky, Ghost of Morals, great. Pretend could have been expanded on. Ghost Town was good as it is. Day Trip was as good as it is. Deep End could have been a little bit longer. Define the Laws is my favorite song off this entire thing, by far. Dice, like, you can think Notorian Dice, you can't go wrong with that combo. You just cannot. But like, for example, I love Day Trip. That needs to be longer. I love Day Trip. That needs to be longer. He had some biting bars on this whole record, too. Don't get me wrong. Like, the boy can rap. He can rap. Control of Me can be longer. Eternals was like he didn't rap over that that could have been my favorite that could have really been a big 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 boss highlight fantasies and fantasies maybe should have been the same song why they're separated i don't know but even then that's dumb move on interlude could have been longer troubles for freestyle needed to be longer uh sauna freestyle just didn't need to be here really if you weren't going to make it longer friends didn't really need to be here if you wanted to make it longer losing friends took him a while to get started but still sounded all right if it isn't him, it's the production. Good Morning World was okay. Wasn't I was happy with Good Morning War World. Killing Him Softly was good. Could have extended Killing Him Softly part. Uh, the distance part was a very mad part for me overall. Um, storming was cool. I liked Storming. Um, the mixing was a little bit spotty on that one, though. Episode 52 Freestyle I was happy with. I wasn't mad at that. Then the grand finale, I love. I love that song. That's great. 
beautiful. It sh this whole album really showed what made Notori stand out through the entire Candy crowd for me. Um, I believe that you know he's like I said he has a very mature approach of to his music. I just think he needs to make a lot of these songs longer. I think um, the mixing is done well. The production by Eighteen Stoic, uh, Seven Seek, it's Seven Seek or Seven Silk, um, No Celez, all of you guys killed that production. Pilot Kid off of the first track, beautiful instrumentals. All this lo-fi, Tyler the Creator, experimental. The layering is great. The mixing is great. Everybody sounds in place to their strengths. Sky Carter sounds angelic. Dice kills flows. Uh, AJ the artist does has heard is some of the best I've heard him. Period. Uh, Nadia and Brakel Ber uh, off of Killing Them Softly sound amazing together. I would definitely love to hear more of them. Lee sounds like there's some potential to be real something really interesting. I'll have to listen to more of them. Just overall, what a phenomenal record. Um, not perfect by any stretch, but definitely something. There was a lot of hype. Uh, I've seen a lot of hype about it on the internet um, from all the people that are his friends and stuff. Like I said before, I listened, I listened to a single song off this, like in this context. But... I see why people would love this. This is great. Now, what he has, has to do is make these songs longer and put this shit on Spotify so I can listen to it on repeat. Because there's a lot of songs around here that I'm like, these are great. These are phenomenal. I'm feeling a light to decent 8 out of 10 on this record overall. Showed his flows, his personality, his hunger, his drive. Um, topic choice through the second half got a little bit more repetitive, but he still brought the energy and the musicality of it never suffered. And... Uh, in terms of the quality and I think that's the beautiful thing about it that once he masters the pen fully and knows when to make songs longer I think it, it, it'll he'll be unstoppable definitely one of the better upcoming prospects in the rap game right now people need to check out and join the KND club now train join join the bandwagon now because I'm driving it definitely eight to eight uh, like to decent eight out of ten for this one for sure if you want to listen to the full thing in its entirety, link will be down below. Be sure to check him out on all on, a, on Instagram. Check out all his other music. Uh, that being said, uh, today's underground album was Ghost Town, an album by Notori. Stay safe. Love y'all. Bye-bye.